What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Coach D. Brown, former big leaguer with the Kansas City Royals. I want to say what's up to everybody that is enjoying that Saturday. I know I'm messing up everybody's plans over there. They all getting ready for this college football game. I don't care. Y'all need this knowledge, man. I promise you. I feel bad, but I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like this is more needed right now. So we are definitely uh, honored. I got a special, special guest, man, uh, coming in. And I kind of had to reel him in. You know what I mean? The boys, boys been training hard. They've been, been out here trying to get it. <laughs> and uh, so I, I just said, listen, man, I, I reached out to him. He had so much love from a, another college baseball player. So I said, listen, let me go and bring, bring on another, you know, another one of my guys to come in. And he's actually like on the grind with a lot of opportunities coming up in the near future. So I felt like, you know, what's the best way to, you know, share knowledge of just somebody that's going through the draft process where I hope some of you parents, well, I hope all of you parents have the opportunity to experience and the, and the ball players have the chance and experience to, you know, the opportunity that he gonna, he's going to have shortly right now. And so what's up, Bubba? What's up, Jerry? Uh, what's up, Mark? And I just wanted to make sure that, again, this gets the, the, the good kids, the kids that are here grinding, the kids that have great opportunities, I want to make sure they get well represented on here. And so anyway, before I introduce them, I know I'm big in the mud right here. I got, I got a couple little, let me get through my little announcements, okay? So remember, all right, we got the bat giveaway and the training that you have to get. Now, I appreciate it. I had a bunch of people put their email in. And when you get your email, when you put your email into the link right here, you get access to some free videos, power videos, okay? But that's not what it's about. I want you to purchase the program. That's what it is. I had a bunch of emails yesterday. A bunch of people put their email in. But I want, again, let me just make sure you guys understand that you have to purchase the program. The first 50 people that purchase the program, not just put their email in, but purchase their purchase the program have access to win that free Rawlings Quattro bat. All right, just remember that. I just want to make sure everybody knows. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what's up, Big Jake down in Fort Myers getting it in perfect game. I, I see you. You down? You you watching in from perfect game? I get it. Hey, hey, my boy Jake. Make sure he he may be two or three years from now. He may be in this situation right here. All right. So anyway, good to see you, Jake. Though I'm glad you're on. So. After my announcements, uh, you know, here it is, okay? So my boy right here, all right? The good thing is, with, with the beauty of what I do, what I do, I get to meet some great people, all right? Some up-and-coming people. So you, you met a, a week or two. We had Dow Roberts from Vegas. His kid has the potential to be, you know, high-round pick. We, we Baron Radcliffe and, and, you know, besides the coaches and scouts and players, ex-big leaguers and all that that's been coming on, all right? This guy right here, definitely what's up, Mr. Poultrys. This guy right here has an opportunity, if he does what he got to do, to do what we all been talking about. And we're hoping that everybody get a chance. And I know he's been dreaming of this. And I'm going to dig, dig a little deeper into what made him get to where he's at right now, what he did. And so anyway, without further ado, I ain't going to keep running my mouth, all right? So I got... My boy, University of New Orleans outfielder, all right, Luther Woolard Jr., all right, on the show with me today, all right. So, Luther, without further ado, I'm going to stop talking, man. They ain't come to see me. They came to here and see what's going on with you, man. So, if you could, man, kind of get a little background. Tell them where you're from, you know, how'd you get into the game and how you got to the part where you are right now starting your junior season at University of New Orleans with a chance to get drafted in June, man. Like, bring me through the timeline, brother. All right, um, I'm Luther Wooler. You know, I play baseball at University of New Orleans. Um, when I was young, I, I'm okay, I'm from Wayne County, Mississippi, but you know, I raised on the coast, Biloxi, Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi area. Well, it started off when I was young playing background baseball, you know, backyard. I mean, and so you know, my dad was like, you know, why don't you go out there and play? Go out there and play, do, do something, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yes, sir, let's go. First year, you know, it's kind of tough, you know, I was scared of the ball. Then it, at the end, towards All Star, I was just like, man, something ain't right. This is my sport because I was playing football at the same time. You know, I had love for football also. And so I was like, 
thing right about baseball, man. It's just where I want to go. So I grew up playing football and baseball through to, to middle school. Going into high school, I gave it up, gave football up, stick to baseball. All right, started in Darby High School, my freshman year, played varsity. Sophomore year, played varsity, also played varsity all four years. So junior year, I started picking up offers from all kind of JUCOs in Mac Jack. I had all, all, I had all JUCO offers. Then I started picking up, I went and played in Atlanta and started playing with the own wood bats only. Had picked up a little interest in South Alabama, Southeastern. Had a couple other schools, had swag schools. And all of a sudden, so I, I was, I sat down with my parents and I was like, you know, after all the visits I went to, I was like, you know, I want to choose Jones, good program, good coach, you know. Let's, let's, they've been looking at me since my freshman year. Let's, let, let's check them out. My freshman year at Jones, we won state. We won state. The year before, my senior year in high school, they won national championship. So the next year, my freshman year there, we won state, 46 and 4, our record. Then the next year, my sophomore year, which was last year, we could have won state. We, we choked at the end, but I mean, it happens baseball. Mm-hmm. And I had a few offers um, out of Jones, which I had UNO, could have walked on at some big D1 school, SEC school. Um, UNO, I went to UNO on my visit. Coach Blake Dean, Coach Stu, you know, that was really good guys, really good guys. Coach Blake played at LSU, went to the minor leagues, good guy. Offered me a really good scholarship. Couldn't turn it down. I mean, I ain't with my parents coming out of pocket. And my academic scholarship was good. So, and now I'm there. It's looking real good. So far, so good. All right. So, you you know, you're going fast through this. So I want to let, I'm going to, I'm going to take it back a few years. Like, we're going to go back to junior year of high school, senior year in high school. Okay. So, you getting you getting these opportunities? You say junior colleges and some SWAT schools, and you know, for people don't know what SWAT schools are, it's Southwest Athletic Athletic Conference, basically black you know black schools, right? All right. Mm-hmm. So the so you getting these opportunities. What made you choose Jones Community College or Junior College? Well. Like I, you know, they say you go to you go to D one, you gotta wait three years to get drafted. You know, you go to Jones, you can do potentially go two years or one year. So I mean, I thought I had a, I thought I had a tool, so I chose Jones. You know, which is a re- really good D one. I mean, JUCO school. So my freshman year, like I said, the coaches were really nice out there. They really good dudes and everything. Freshman year, I found my way in the starting lineup. You know, with some really good guys, and they brought a bunch of scouts to the table. Still nothing happened. So, you know, I think I finished with 325 batting average, six bombs. A little something as a freshman. But then last year, so I'm thinking, you know, this can be my year. I have a really good year. Better 425. Let numbers, I was the second, second in the nation in doubles with 26, 34 stolen bags. Still nothing, five home runs, still nothing. So I'm like, man, what's going on? And so that took me to, that's what made me go to Jones, a really good program. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So now you go to Jones and I've been down there. I, you know, before I even met you, I went down there last summer, this past summer with my, with my, my travel teams. And that, that's a nice little park down there. That's a, that is in the middle of nowhere, but it's a really nice, I was like, dad, man, this is how junior college is down here. This is nice. You know, right. It's a nice little park where you played in. Right. Right. So, you go to Jones, but so you made a conscious effort. You you said you kind of you really wanted to pursue going to a junior college because you was like, man, I got two years to potentially get drafted at a high school. Is that is that a conscious choice right. that you and your family made? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, I'm, I'm just I got to say that because you know you a lot of other people be like, oh, you know, I have been hard on the, all the big time B ones. I'll be I you would think I went to junior college with a bunch of I'll be pumping up junior colleges on here, man, but. Just the fact that you on there and you was like, oh, you know, I, I know I have two opportunities to get drafted. So let me go ahead and choose this junior college Jones over here. And you made a conscious effort. It wasn't like a last minute resort and oh, mm-hmm. like that people people make it out to be like it's a bad thing to go to junior college, right? No. Nah. You was happy with that decision, huh? Yes, sir. 
All right, so here we go. So now we go to New Orleans. You so how many opportunities? What kind of opportunities you would come? I know you were hoping to get drafted, right? Now, did you yeah. have a couple guys off your team get drafted? Um, I had um a pitcher, two pitchers actually, but they both turned it down. One of them at Mississippi State and one of them at Alabama. So yeah, you know I mean they brought they brought they brought the guys there, but just just okay. Ah, right. so you so you you going to junior college? Your junior colleges is and and they either they're getting drafted and or going to big time D one programs out, out out of out of uh junior college, right? Right, right. Ah, right. hey, I mean best of both worlds, right? So now you get you choose University of New Orleans was at the D one school itself, right? So now you out here, and so now we get to the point you choose University of New Orleans, right? So you already have it in your mind that you feel like. You know, when did you kind of get that idea in your mind that like opportunity, you know, to possibly not only just go D one but possibly get drafted? When when did when did that you know get inside you? What what year? What age? What tell me a little bit about that? Oh uh, my sophomore year, JUCO actually, you know, a couple of scouts talked to me, told me I got the chance, you know, just continue doing what I'm doing. Most of the thing was my flexibility, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Need to be more flexible and stuff out there in outfield. And then went to went to UNO in the fall. We played LSU twice. And I had a really good game on both of them. And then that's when I started getting, you know, a couple of letters and questionnaires and texts from coaches, scouts. And so pretty much basically it's this year, this year, this fall. Okay. So take me back a few months ago, whatever. All right. So how how did the process go? How did you, you know, who, don't tell me the name, but tell me the team of the first scout and how, you know, like take us, you know what I'm saying? Some of these parents don't, don't know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't even remember the first time. I, I, I do remember. I ain't gonna lie. I remember the first time I ever ran into a shook a hand of a scout and I didn't know who he was, whatever, but I'm, take me back to when it was, what did he say? And, you know, don't be, be too fast. Go take me back there. All right. <laughs> all right well, um, it was like like a couple months ago. I was laying in bed. And, you know, my coach, my coach sent me me and my buddy an email. I mean, a text saying, you know, send y'all email ASAP. So we like, we are we in trouble or something? Like, like what we what's going on? So we sent mm -hmm. then like ten minutes later, you know, Detroit Tigers. They sent us, you know, the setup for their prospect link thing, questionnaires and everything. So I mean, we got we got to there, and then I say like, two weeks ago. Cincinnati Reds, Coach Tech, I mean, Scout Tech, you know, telling me, you know, he want me to fill out like this, you know, told me happy holiday, you know, that was nice of him. But he's, you know, told me to fill out like the tap test, you know, I did that. And then, you know, it just kept going from there. All right. So, so you're getting emails. And so, what is, because uh, somebody, I think, Byron, somebody was talking about the link. So now, you know, it sounds different from what I, so now they send out a link and it's a prospect link. So, you know, how many questionnaire, how many questions are on there? Like, you know, what does the questionnaire consist of? Like what what's what's you know, what's on them? It's really it's really like your size, you know, who you are. You know, they try they try to figure out they try to figure out stuff that they don't know about you and that you know what I'm saying, like they wanna know stuff about your family, you know, everything. Um then the tap test is like they trying to figure out like if you can if you can handle it, handle the the lead, you know what I'm saying? Big leads and all that type of stuff. So they want to, so it's basically to check your maturity level, huh? Right, right. Okay, all right. That's, hey, uh, that's good information. I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember doing nothing like that. It must have been so long ago. But all right. So now you filling out questionnaires. All right. So, so now we we go back and, you know, so now you know you're getting, you know, scouts. I've, I, you know, I I told you this already, but. You know, I, I just randomly brought up your name to a scout, not dealing with the two teams you just said. I just randomly brought up your name, and they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we know about them. Yeah, 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 we got it. So, you know, I that's in a whole nother, you know, I, I was like, okay, so you, your name is out there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just happened to bring you up, and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like I was old news. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, like, okay, <laughs> my bad. I'm like, I'm just meeting the dude. Sorry, right? So... <laughs> He was so now that your name is out there, I want I want you to tell my listeners, like, yo, what what's your mindset going into a season, right? Because you're it's not only that you're getting scouts, you know, you're spilling out questionnaires and 
you know, I'm sure, you know, you're you're lining up possibly if you have not. I'm, we're going to talk about that. If scouts have sit down and, and, and met with your family yet. And I know you're dealing with a little bit of an agent type thing right now, too. But we're going to go into that. But what is your mindset right now? What What is, you know, tell me what Luther's mindset is going into this spring season with the opportunity to get drafted. What, what's your mindset? Tell me what it is right now. Uh, to be honest, um, I really just want to, you know, not worry about it, not worry about the draft. You know, when I want to first go out and have a good season. I want to put up some num numbers and help my team, you know. Um, that's basically, I just want to, you know, not think about it, not put so much pressure on myself. All right. So are you thinking season, season, season? And if it happens, it happens? Or are you like in the back of your mind, like, man, you know, I, oh, you know. Season, season, season. If it happens, it happens. Okay, I like it. Okay, all uh, right. I can't. So you ain't you ain't thinking about none of that in June, huh? You you ain't thinking none of those scouts. You ain't thinking about what what could happen, anything like that, right? I mean, if it happens, it happens. Why? <laughs> Why well, I feel like you've been coached already to say, you know what I'm saying? You've been you've been you've been you knew I was gonna ask you type of thing. You like you feel like I feel like you've been coached a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. You're saying the right thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a few people come back on lately. We had, we got uh, Leonard. We got, what's up, Ken? What's up, Danny? All right, coming in. All right, and again, questions. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you, you know, you jot down. You guys know the routine, man. Any questions that you may have, all right, for my boy Luther over here, okay? So, uh, so now, what is like a day in the life of you right now? Where you at right now in December going into you know, season, when does the season start? You know, because you are you at a new school. You, you played four, but you technically are at a new school yet, right? You ain't right. started the season yet, so. Right. Well, um, right now, we know we don't fall break. I mean, Christmas break, so, I mean, it's just really work, 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 grind. Um, every, what, is, what is work, 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 grind? What does that mean? What you doing? Man? Um, training, I'm hitting every day, working out, speed, conditioning, you know, just treat, taking care of my body. You know, me and my dad was supposed to start yoga coming up, you know, trying to, like I said, get flexible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all of it's grinding, hitting every day, working out, agilities, all that type of stuff. And then all, you know, like you said, season come, we, you know, first game, February the 15th, we open up with Michigan State at home. So got a couple a couple guys coming down. So should go pretty well. All right. All right. So you, you, so tomorrow, uh, Monday morning, all right? What time you get up? Give Monday, me a daily schedule. I get me. up around 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, you know, eat breakfast, most important meal. Then I say about 1 o'clock, me and my buddies, we go to one I went to high school at DR, we work out, hit. And after that, it's a, it's a chill day then. Uh-huh. So do you, are you training? Like, what's, I'm, I'm trying to get it, like, you know, you hit. You run in, you do what you got to do, and yeah, we we'll do all we we'll work out and stuff before we hit. We work out, run, throw all before we hit. You know, take ground balls, fly ball, lead us. We do all of it, and then we hit. But like so now, all right, so you hit. All right, so when when you know you at a new place, and are you dealing with a little bit of anxiety? Or are you dealing with you know, excitement, are you dealing with, you know, like what, tell me, tell me, you know, cause you technically are like six, six weeks away, you know what I'm saying? From your season. And, you know, tell me what you, you know, what, what I, I already know what's up in your mind. Say, yeah, you know, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just worried about the season and all that, but I want to, I want to get into the emotion. What you feeling right now? Is it excitement? Is it like, ah, oh, man, I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is it? No, it's excitement, man. You know, the guys that I'm surrounded by, is, you know, good guys also, you know, we go on the field, it's, it's, it's go time. Even when we practice, you know what I'm saying? We practice like with a purpose. But, man, it's just number of excitement, man, being around them guys and ready to start the season off, hopefully turn turn this team around, you know. Um, yeah, man, just excited. All right, so do they know about what's going on with you personally as far as, like, you know, or you just um, everybody kind of quiet? Because everybody, I know everybody kind of wishing they in the same boat you are, right? Um, not, not really. I don't really talk about it. Um, got two guys on the team that, you know, they're like my boys. So they're the only two of the guys that really know about it, but I don't really talk about it, brag about it. I don't do nothing. All right. That's what's up. All right. So yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I right, you good. 
Are you sure? You, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. No, no you good. No, I was All right. So you, I know that, I know how agents have been reaching out to you, right? Right. All right. So tell me how that process goes. How, how are they getting your information? And, and you know, I'm, have you met with any yet? Or have you met when you sat down and when he scouts or anything yet, like that? Like kind of give me that type of schedule and what's going on with that, right? When did you first hear from these agents or, or you know, have you sk- scheduled any scouts meetings yet? Or have you sat down with them yet? Tell me that. All right. Well, um, with the agent on um, Asian started with like, like a few months back, right, right, right when we was playing LSU, some guys hit me up from Florida. Didn't know, didn't know nothing about them. They, they're a new group of guys that started and stuff. So I don't know how they got my information, but we was texting and stuff. We posted sat down and meet, but that never happened because you know I always wanted one of my parents around, cause, you know, let them know so they know what's going on. But um, then I sat down with um another agent that I grew up playing with that played ball, brother played professional ball, Matt Paul. You know, we sat down and talked, you know, just talked, talked about, you know, the pros and cons. And if I really need one, you know, rounds, you know, top 10 rounds, you know, you need, you know, after that, you really don't depend on how much money you get. But it's just all about that. Then um, I have not, not, not sat down with a scout yet. Like I said, it just started coming in not too long ago, so. But hopefully, hopefully I can, but that's it. Okay. All right. So you you're meeting, you have an agent on board just in case. Sounds like you 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 may choose. Uh, you know, you, at least you got one on board, right? If if you know, so you have have you had a chance to sit down with an A or you just talk to the talk to the you know. we sat down. Okay, okay. So what are some of the questions that an agent asks you? you no, know, dealing with um how much money, you know, they, they, they company take out, depend on, how you know, signing bonus on 5% on. So they take 5%? Yeah. Um, the stuff, you know, you receive, well, how they help you, you know, develop as, as like you in the minor league, how you, um, they're going to always be there, you know what I'm saying? They're not just going to take your money and leave. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. It was just simple, simple stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They talk about how they're gonna make you some money. Yeah. Okay. You know, endorsement and stuff. Oh, that's what they talk about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Now, nah, I, 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 okay. We talk about all behind the scenes on that type of stuff. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so let's. Uh, I know Matt. I know Matt. I don't know the other guy. I know. I, I know. I play with his brother, so I know. So yeah. Um. The did you tell him you know me? You told him you be talking to me or what? He know he you tell him? No, I don't think I told him. Nah, I okay, don't worry. don't worry. Yeah, I just you know, let me be your secret weapon. So anyway, the uh I'm gonna go ahead and get these questions going, okay? So we got a few. All right, I got um I got John John Grady Harris. What's up, John man? Thanks for listening in. Um, he said, I love my page. He's what's the best workouts for gaining arm strength with pitching? All right. So John, I'm gonna keep all the way 100 with you. I can give you the, the basic, you know, answers just to sit here and tell you like, Hey, you can do X, Y, Z. I know just enough, but I'm gonna ask you, John next week. I done been reached out to about three of my boys. You know, they all professional, um, pitching coaches. All right. So we just gonna schedule next week. I'm just I, I just gotta tell you to keep tuned, but I'm gonna bring I already got I know I've been kind of depriving the pitchers. I've been talking to hitters and outfielders and because that's my thing. But I'm bringing on pitching coach, uh, a professional pitching coach. He was listening in the other day. One of my boys play together. I ain't heard and seen him in years, but I told him I need him to bring him on. So next week, hopefully, uh, probably the end of next week, I'm gonna bring him on, and he can you can ask those questions, John. All right. So I don't want to just mis- mislead you. And I don't want no pitching guys coming back talking to me just like I don't like no pitching guys talking hitting. I can't stand it. All right. Anyway, the uh, let me. I'm going off right now. My bad. But uh, let me see. We got Bubba asks, what type of agility drill? What type of agility drills do you do? Um, ladder, mostly ladder. Ladder. Um, 
one foot in, one foot out, one foot in, one across. That's that's the best one I do because I you know I steal bases, so I like to have my I like to have quick feet. All right. So a lot of drills. You do a bunch of lot of drills, huh? Yeah, a lot of drills. All right. So Mark Henry from Texas asks, Luther, what I, what have been some of the biggest challenges you have faced hitting? Question mark. Working on your game. You know, basically, what's what's been the biggest? What's the biggest flaw in your game that you know you need to work on? Man, um, really seeing off speed or oh, um, I struggled, you know, swinging at a curveball low. But you know, in the fall, like I said, in the fall, you know, I've been working, see it up. Um, but just really just off speed in the dirt, low, see some up. Don't let, don't work with the pitcher. You let the pitcher come to you. That's what I love. Ah, so yeah. you, so you realize that hitting their pitch ain't working too good. Right? I got to be patient mm -hmm. and, 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 and hit what I want to hit. Right? Hit my pitch, yeah. Hit, hit, uh, okay, don't hit the uh, pitcher's pitch. Funny how that works. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, so. Let's let's uh, I got Kevin, but I'm gonna get right back to your question. But Kevin asks, "What is your approach to the play? What what is Luther's approach to the play? What do you tell yourself when you stepping up to the box? What's your approach, man? Tell me. Dominate the fastball. They're gonna throw you a fastball in your zone. They throw a mistake, dominate it. That's that's how I look at it. Okay. Because I'm, I'm a middle end guy. They they miss they miss that spot right there. Oh, it's dominate time. <laughs> dominate it. Don't don't can't can't let him get it by. Hey, 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 I, I was funny. I was talking to my younger group yesterday, right? And you know, they stay so young, but they but it ain't just that age group, it was some older guys. It's like I tell that approach, and I ask what their approach is like, oh, you know, I just you know, I say, uh, I just want to hit the ball. You know, I say, You say you just want to hit the ball. I say, So if you go up there, you just hit a little, you know, a little hand <laughs> shot to the pitcher and you get out. Are you happy? He's like, No. So I said, Well, you did what you said you wanted to do. You say you just want to hit the ball, right? He's yeah. like, well, you know what I mean. I said, no, I don't know what you mean. You got to say it. So anyway, yeah. when you come out and you say, I want to dominate the fastball, that's yeah. verbally putting it in your brain, implanting that. So when you like, yo, when he come with it, I'm swinging as hard as I can. I'm trying to knock the mess out this damn ball, right? Right, right. Okay. I'm just saying. Now, here, here's his own, though. Not, a, not his pitch. Your right. pitch. Oh, hey, amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah, you 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 learning now. I I you know I don't got the scouting report on you too, trust me. All right. So <laughs> anyway, the uh Bubba asked from Alabama asks, how much input does your parents have with you at this stage? How much how much how much are your parents involved with the whole process right now with you? Hundred percent hundred of it. They got all of it. Um my decision, they decision, we make this decision together. You know what I'm saying? Without them, you know, I wouldn't be here. So they gotta be. They gotta be in here with me. Okay. Truth be told, if it wasn't for your dad, I wouldn't have met you, right? Is that that exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, Mark Mark asks, uh, what went into your decision to choose University of New Orleans, and why not any other SWAC schools? Uh, the coach really, um, like I said, Coach Blake Dean. He had just um got a he coached at LSU, played at LSU. I knew he knew some guys, so. He was really cool guy. Um, when I met him, it was just something about him, you know, something about the coaching staff there. And he, like I said, he gave me a good, good scholarship that I couldn't turn down. All right, so, all right. I've had, I've had a, I've had a couple inquiries about SWAC schools, and I'm gonna try to go ahead and get some of these, uh, some of those guys on before their season cranks up. So, hey Holly, what's up, Eric? What's up, Latoria? What's going on? What's up, Deep Brooks? All right, let me see. We got uh, Kevin Williams asked about the uh, uh, Jake Jager Jager throw, throwing program. Now I know a, a local high school guy. Um, I ain't gonna say you know he's a big time high school guy. Um, it's a question mark like asking about that. Yes, I have heard. Um, I looked into it. I heard it's great. I you know again I'm gonna let the pitch guys come on and talk about it. Uh. But the, yeah, the, the Jago program, throwing program, yes, I heard great things about it. I, I was told I need to look into it from my high school guy over here because I asked I asked the same question that uh, John asked about the pitching thing on top of the the, uh, the questions I get from the parents like that talking about pitching. So I'm, I'm always inquisitive to know something that I need to learn more about because, you know, I, I have a different mindset when it comes to pitchers. It's, you know, it's that professional ball player in me. Anyway, the uh, – 
I he Mark says, Luther, I watched some of the tape at a workout from Baseball Factory you did in the past. Talk about your experience at those camps during high school, and did that really help you get recruited? Yes. Um, baseball Factory, uh, I went there once I was gonna say my sophomore year in high school. Really didn't have, you know, the tool that I had now. But, I mean, it was it was great experience. You know, scouts, like I said, scouts was there. Um, going to showcases counts really now, – nowadays, really good for you, for, you, for your child, you know, for, for you. Okay. All right, Mr. Porges asks, what kind of numbers did you put up in your high, in high school, preferably your junior year? What kind of numbers you was putting up? Junior year, I went to uh, bet at, like, 364, a few home runs. Um, it's really my senior year where I started getting the big, the kind of the, the D one. But my junior year, I was, I was actually a hitter. Now, that's all I can do is hit. I love hitting, but <laughs> three, three, three fifty plus. You know, what I'm saying couple doubles, home runs. Hey, I'm I'm gonna challenge you, right? So you say you played varsity all four years, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna uh, well, let me see if you get it right first. All right, so I'm gonna this is this is this ain't no question from the parents. Parents, please keep continuing to ask the questions. This is off the cuff over here. So, can you tell me? May not just give me just give me the three main numbers if you can. But I want all four years of high school. I want you to read off and tell me your numbers. Your, I want your average, your home runs, and all the odds. If you don't know it off the top, if you be like ah, I'm whatever, but you know, please, from your freshman year to your senior year, it's a reason why I'm asking. Uh, I probably do average. That's all I can do is probably average. Give me um, average. Freshman, I want to say I batted 280. Uh -huh. Um, Got a new – my sophomore year, got a whole new coaching staff. You probably know Cooper Ferris, coaching on um, – or Mets organization. He came – coach on um, sophomore year went, I want to say, 308. 308, 310-ish. Junior year, I think it was 364, 365. And senior, I was up to a four. I was 400 club. 400. Okay. All right, listen. <laughs> the reason I asked this, right? I'm, I'm just saying, it, <laughs> I go on a rant right now. Because I could tell when you start talking about your, your junior year, I hit three. I, I'm like, yeah, he knows his numbers, okay? Yeah. I go, I get so upset with players that do not know their numbers. You, I run into so many high, especially, especially in high school. You right. better know your numbers, man. And I know it sounds like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, I talk, I, honestly, if I bring up 10 kids that I, I talk to on a regular basis, maybe they don't want to tell me their numbers. I don't know. But they do not know the numbers. And I'm looking at them crazy like, yo, how do you know your numbers? How? How are you right. going to talk to a college or, or want to go here and there and you don't know what you're hitting? Right, That's right. one. Two is how do you gauge – you You just told me every year you went up, right? You just went right. every year you went up from your freshman year all the way up to your senior year. If you don't know your numbers, how you know you're doing that? You're just going to go on the field? Right, I just right. think I feel better? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about you. You know, you tell me, Luther, do, do – No, nah, I pay attention. I pay attention numbers toward the end of the season. I tried to look at them at the beginning. But – they say they say numbers. Looking at your number during the season, measure, but I think it's all in the mind. But I try. I just try. I just try to look at it. But at in at the end of the season, I I look at my numbers and I know. Them. Hey, hey, ain't nothing. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes they make you, you know, try to put this in your. Oh, you going? No, no. No, nah, right here. Every four or five games, you need the baby. All right, I went four for five, two for two. Right. Da, 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 so you know, I right? don't. You don't need no parent. You don't need. And I and I harp on this. I went. I did a whole ran on this last early this year about knowing your numbers because I just get so it once once you start getting around the middle school years all right you just start getting in the half nothing wrong I know you got so many especially with game changes and all the stuff that's out here it ain't right. you know you're not gauging yourself against nobody else you're gauging yourself against yourself and you have right. to know your numbers I'm just yeah. I, I'm going on a rant I'm sorry I know this ain't nothing but I I'm I'm glad you we talking away because I'm like yo this dude know his numbers he way in college right now but he know his high school numbers I'm like yeah. that's you supposed to know this right I, mean, I don't know about you don't you know hey, you're you're not a coach. you know what I'm saying <laughs> you're not a coach so you don't be talking I don't know if you you know I some of these guys I'd be like you don't know your numbers man 
How, how you expect the college coach to want and want to recruit you and they ask like, hey, what you got going on? They're gonna do their own homework, but should right. you? I mean, anyway, I'm sorry. Right. I go. Nah, you 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 right, you right. Yeah. So I uh right. So okay, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how how old Kev is, but I'm sure he, he probably same age or older than you, and he going back knowing his high school season's numbers. I'm just I'm just saying you. I know it. I know it sounds like I don't know. People gonna listen to this and be like, hey, "Everybody know the num-. No, not everybody do know their numbers, man. I run into so many people that don't know their numbers. Anyway, Bubba asks, "So, what do you think your, your three main numbers that you need to know?" Um, on base percentage. Hmm. I all right. On base percentage number one, but I also feel like the other other ways like depend on what 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 place what player you are. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You. Guy, you know, stolen base average. You know, if you're a hit home run hitter, home base percentage, home run. I always want that bait that walks ratio and your cage ratio away from each other. You don't want to have more cage than you want walks, but I say on base percentage, bad and average at RBI. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just you're right. Listen, on base percentage, especially nowadays, is really, really big. Right. I say at the high school level, like college level down. You want to hit, or I say at least high school season. I'm gonna say that you know, high school season down. You want to hit 400, right? You want to yeah. have at least two walks to every strikeout. That just shows you just you understand the strike zone. Two right. walks for every, I mean, two yeah, two walks for every strikeout. Okay, then your on base percentage will be walked. If you hit 400 with two walks to every yeah. strikeout, your your high, your 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 numbers, your on base percentages will be way up there. And then, of course, the name of the game is RBIs and run score. Like, you can't win if you don't drive and runs or somebody right. scores. You can't win. Right. So, those are huge numbers, right? Right, LJ? All right. All right. So, my boy Kevin's like, I'm 41. Yeah, I'm right with you, bro. I'm 42. So, I understand, you know? So, I, uh, Trice, tri- tri- Shaw says, uh, Tug is my bae, hashtag nephew. You know? Who tri- that? Trice? You know Trice? Trees. Is it Trees? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He, he, I just think he's a proud uncle right there. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Perillo, what's up? What's going on? So, again, question. So, let hey, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit before we finish this up there. So, the – what's your perception of college baseball going to this season? Like, what, what do you look – like, what do you – I mean, I know you had a taste of the fall, but you kind of going through Jones. Do you think it's going to be so much difference competition between Jones and, and University of New Orleans, or you know, traveling? You know, team, you know, tell me, tell me what you're thinking right now, going into your, to your junior year right now. Um, as me, I say no. You know what I'm saying? But other people, they might say yes because they might say, "Oh, you're going to see this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy at the bullpen." My mind said, "I don't care who you are." You know what I'm saying? He still got to face me, but I think it'll be a little, little, little different. You know, we didn't face every guy throwing 90 in Jones. Well, we did face some guys throwing 90. And um, coming to the Southland Conference, you know, we're going to face some guys on Friday night and out the bullpen that's going to, you know, potentially drive guys too. So I think it'll be, you know, a little challenge. But, I mean, like I said, he still got to throw to me. So, What's your best tool? What, what, what do you – if somebody says, you know, what do you do best? What's, what's your best tool, man? Uh, hit, run. I, I got, you know, I got a few. You know, I can hit and run. I used to couldn't run. I thought if I told you that, you probably thought I'm lying. I, I used to be slow, fat. Got in shape when I went to own Jones and stuff. But hit, run, defense. My weakest now. My arm strength. I mean, it's it's, it's getting up because I'm long tossing. But you know, mm-hmm. it was get the get the ball in, hit my cut off, man. Let him do the work, but. Yeah, I mean, hitting and running my best, my best two two. So what do you mean, like you? So you say you were slow out of high school. What, what's slow? Tell me your sixty yard time. What was your time, man, coming out of high school? Like a seven two. Seven two. Where's it at now? Like a six five. I ran the, I ran the six five two. At Jones, after we did a sophomore showcase with me and my buddy, we coach, you know, coaches thought watch but people don't believe me. But I mean, I'm always here. You know, I back myself up, but six five. All right, so time out. So, so let's get this right. So at seventeen ish, you ran a seven two. Seven two. A couple years later, you ran a six five. Six five last year. All right. And what what do you what do you 
is that training? Is that better shape? What would it what what, what, what makes it drop seven tenths of it? That's that's big. That's a big drop. At Jones, you know, we had this, we have six, six weeks of health, like a, a work, a whole training, six weeks, you know. Tuesday, we got super agility day, you know, we do that every Tuesday for six weeks. And I really just think it's from that, from my freshman year to last year, my freshman year at Jones to last year, and then last year, just like, bam, it all just came out, but. Mm -hmm. And you said you was out of shit, you said you was kind of thicker in high school, huh? Yeah, I was thicker. How much, how much more, how, what do you weigh at right now? What do you weigh right now? I'm at, one ninety two. I mean six one one ninety five. Okay, that's how I weighed out of high school. Yeah, same same everything. All mm -hmm. right, so all right, so my my what it seems to me right. So here I am putting on my scout and my little evaluator cap. Right. All right. You got a dude. You got a dude that has talent, could hit, and but in high school. I don't know what kind of training programs or anything that they had going. Did you ever take private lessons or anything like that, hitting wise and all of that, right? So you just grinding away, just doing, you know, what's required. Basically, you train and you work out. You 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 go to practice and you go play games in high school. And you obviously got some talent, but as far as tools wise, there's a couple of things kind of peaking it just a little bit. But seven two ain't gonna cut it. Right. And your arm strength, you said, wasn't necessarily there. You can right. hit. You know, you obviously you didn't really. Bang out, bang out. Now, hit 360 a junior, which is really good, but you ain't really just bang out until your senior right. year, right? Right. All right, so then the D1 schools and your junior colleges has come, but then what happens, you go to junior college, you train, you get around high-level training, they have a real program for you. So not only now do you, and then you get around higher-level cal caliber athletes too on junior college, right. they're all shooting for D1 and getting drafted. So now you go from a 7-2 to 6-5, and so... You're around and, and you show out, you trim off body fat, you get faster, you get stronger. And so now you become not only just a guy with tools, but you know, a late bloomer, but now you become draftable. Is that is that sound about right right now? Yes, sir. All right. So listen, some people get it differently. Some people get it different times. Like, you know, that's all 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 he's all he's just shooting right now. And so and what he's talking about is, you know, I worked hard, I went to school. I went to junior college with the intentions of, hey, maybe I can't get drafted. But, you know, he ain't run them six fives and, and hit those bombs and stuff to a sophomore year. That right. put him on the map. So a, a scout is not going to just, uh, you know, unless he's junior right now, but it's very hard for a scout to be like, ah, they want to see a body of work. So when right now he kind of just putting in the spurts. But now he done, he done did what he had to do, trim off the weight, six five runner. And now he's going out there with this year where right now, and I know he knows this, but basically – Every day is you are auditioning for the pros. You, you you basically are auditioning for the pros every day. You have that mindset, right? You understand that, right? Yeah, right, right. I, I just, I, you know, I, I don't want, I, listen, I ain't trying to put no added pressure on you, man. No, you good. No, I'm have good. fun with it, man. Like, you sound like you confident. You 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 blessed with these abilities, man. Just just, just go please. and show it, man. Just, that's all it is. It's showtime. That's why all the work, all the work you putting in right now is the result is going to happen in your junior year. When you go out there and you step on the field, now it's just you just now you on autopilot. But if you ain't working hard, that's when you get nervous and all of that. When you ain't working hard in the off season, but you see, it sounds like you're getting it in right now. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. And that's where your confidence comes from, right? Is that preparation you're putting in right now, right? That's correct. Okay. All right. I'm that's my little rant. All right. That's my little rant. That's how I talk. You, you, he, you guys are kind of getting the back, the back end. He know how I talk because I talk like this all the time, but I just, I just feel like. This is a great example of being patient, understanding that, hey, games games come at different times. You know, certain guys are matured a little earlier. Them are the ones that get drafted at a high school at a high level. Certain guys got to go to college route. And then he not even, you know, junior college, his second year junior college, but he really put himself on the map. And that's why he's at Division One right now school with the intentions of balling out for University of New Orleans and getting drafted. So games come at different times, meaning like, you putting it all together, and that's just great. So, what I want to do, uh, LJ, if you if you could, that I, you know, you I'm sure you again another great example of um, Bubba. Is there an app to recommend to track your numbers? I know on a team wise, Bubba, they have uh, they have um, Game Changer. Do you know any other apps and stuff that hold that that uh, holds your numbers? Anything? I just, I just know Game Changer. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Bubba, man. 
we go old school like that. It ain't nothing wrong with getting your son out there and just getting it, just printing out a schedule. And then after each game or after three or four games, two right. for three, three for four. That's what I did. I ain't had no yeah. game changer, no software. I just put little, little, little hard work, took a little pencil, one for three, two for four. Ain't nothing wrong with him doing that, Bubba. All right. Mm-hmm. He so that's perfect. Yeah, right. You, you put in the numbers right there. You don't need no software to do that. Just put it down. All right, Bubba. So, um, I, I know you made some good fans out here, right? Today, so, um, community out here, let's follow. We're gonna follow. We're gonna bring him on. Hopefully, during the middle of his year when he out here balling, I'm gonna try to connect with him. We got a little time for, you know, I'm gonna want to get him while he's early. You know, stock. We got low stock right now, so when he get big time and get drafted, he ain't gonna have no time for Coach D Brown. But I'm gonna chase him down. It's all good. But anyway. Mm-hmm. So, if you got a Twitter fan, a Twitter following, and also an Instagram, what is your Instagram and a Twitter? Uh, my Instagram is I am Luther Willard, um, W O U L L A R D, and my Twitter is at Luther Willard. All right, simple. All right, let's follow this this young man on his journey to this to this junior year, and let's see where he goes. You know what I'm saying? If the ball's in his court. Great, great opportunity, man. This is what. I, I know, you know, the parents listening in, this is what you, you want. It may be out of high school. It may be in college. This is the opportunity that you're looking for to go to the next level. So um, real fast, again, plugging it in real fast to, to, to get the training program. Go ahead, put your email and purchase the product. Don't Not just the email. Mon- tomorrow, I have uh, Bubba Lam- Lambert is coming in from Alabama. He purchased the product. He's been digging deep into the product. I was like, dude, let's. Let's let's bring you on, man. Let's talk about this. Product, you know what I'm saying? Just so you guys have an understanding of what's available to you guys. All right. So I'm bringing him on tomorrow. We're going to talk about the program. Monday, I got uh, Brandon Montgomery, my boy over here in Memphis, uh, going through with my, you know, he he may be running it. Uh, my boy LJ will be running into him, but he's a, uh, a Dodgers prospect coming in on Monday. He's going to give you the life of a minor leaguer. Uh, D1, he did, he kind of, he went the opposite of you, LJ. He went D1, then transferred to junior college, then got drafted out of junior college. Um, and he's been grinding away. This is going on his fourth professional season. So, um, he's going to come on on Monday. We got, um, Tuesday, I got a special announcement for New Year's. Wednesday, my plan is to come from the cages. Uh, Thursday and Friday, we're going to fill it up. And then on Saturday, I just got a commitment yesterday from my boy, Pete Bomarito. One one of the most highest world renowned physical trainers. You ever heard of him, LJ? You ever heard of Pete yeah, Marino? Yeah. Pete Marino. Okay, I'm just saying. I got my boy coming on on Saturday. I known him when he was a little in, intern. Now he's training the who's who of the NFL. So I, I I reached out to him. He's like, Yo, D, I got you. So he's gonna come on next Saturday. We're gonna talk about the importance of training. And then on Thursday and Friday, I know John. I talked about it. I'm gonna try to get one of my pitching guys to come on. Um, pro pitching guys. Uh, I'm one of my boys, Nick Green, in the Boston Red Sox organization. I, I, you know, I'm just gonna start bringing on some pitching guys, and we're gonna talk pitching much as I, ugh, you know. Anyway, the uh, that's about it. So we got uh, my boy, uh, <laughs> my boy Lance. So you know, Lance, uh, he ran a six five. My boy ran a six five. I trained a little bit too the other day. So, uh, but Mr. Porter says a lot. Lots of luck to you, man. Uh, Kev, man, show you love out here. Tell my good luck, brother. Um, uh, Am- Ambrosia Harris, you know what I'm saying? She uh, says, keep eating. Give it all you got. I guess that's family over there, right? So, all right. So they just kind of chiming in. I appreciate everybody listening in. All right. Join me tomorrow as I bring on Bubba as we talk about this hitting program and the uh, the Big League Shortcuts training system, okay? And then Monday, I mean, next week we got a fun full pack of Pro guys, I right? we kind of go pro and uh all next week, man. So my boy, when he got to do his thing, he's gonna be coming back. Well, we gonna we gonna bring him on. We still in college, man. Like I said, I have a feeling he's gonna be trying to big leave me next year, and I'm gonna chase nah, him. Down, nah. I ain't gonna do that to you. All right, I know that's what's up, man. I appreciate you coming on, man. Do you have any last words, LJ, for the community over that's listening in, man? For any any parent out there listening, you got any last words, man? Oh, uh, I know my mom listening. Uh, thank you everybody for just listening, and thank you. Coach, thank you for um, putting me on here today. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's special. You know what I'm saying? That means a lot. All right, man. No doubt about it, man. I got, got to put these uh, young studs out here, man. Just give them a little taste of what's to come, man. And just and you got to share that knowledge, man. Just remember that, man. So I appreciate it, all you guys listening. LJ, I appreciate you, my dude, coming on, man. It's a blessing to you, man. Keep Just keep rocking and rolling. I'll be in contact, man, behind the scenes. If you need yes, me sir. for anything, I'm here. 
And we have, uh, again, a, a star field starting tomorrow on. We got a fun-filled week coming up, man. So I enjoy your rest of the day. Go, go, go watch some football games. I'm sorry to hold you up, man. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock Central, all right? Peace and love, y'all. See you. All right, man.